Now, if you're a fan of CNN, I regret to inform you that you will no longer be seeing Kellyanne Conway grace your television sets. Now, uh, that is, in, of course, uh, I'm alluding to a new White House decision uh, to basically not allow Trump surrogates and spokespeople from going on just CNN in retaliation for what the White House views as unfair treatment. Hmm. Now, uh, from this, uh, this is a statement from the White House, quote, we're sending surrogates to places where we think it makes sense to promote our agenda. So this is to kind of show you what this is really about. Now, that, of course, bit of a problem. See, networks, television networks, they don't actually exist to promote your agenda. Doesn't they don't exist to promote any agenda? Now, look to be uh, to show that I'm not hypocritical about this. Uh, I did go after CNN for promoting Hillary Clinton's agenda in the primary over Bernie Sanders. No, I think everybody needs to have fair and equal treatment, and that also includes fair. Also includes asking tough questions of both sides, and they obviously did not do that. When it came to both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, now obviously they gave Bernie Sanders all the hard questions. They did a lot of red baiting. I mean, we could go through and relitigate how they treated Bernie Sanders during the primary or any progressive, for example. And you could come up with strong cases to say, okay, well, you know what? If they treat some that like the media deserves what they get, they deserve to be cut off. And, you know, I couldn't really argue very well against that. Now, um, speaking as well uh, on Bernie Sanders, look, he called out CNN and called out the rest of corporate media for not actually covering issues like they should, but instead promoting an establishment agenda. And that included, of course, supporting Hillary Clinton. Now, that is a legit beef with CNN, right? You know, but getting mad that they're actually challenging you and fact checking you. Well, that's actually ridiculous, childish behavior on the Trump administration. Now, CNN reporter actually put it a little harsh. Uh, he said, quote, the White House is trying to punish the network and force down its ratings because they're trying to cull CNN from the herd. Uh, that, that's pretty tough, but it, it seems like that's kind of what they're doing. Now, uh, Politico notes the administration officials are still answering questions from CNN reporters, even after the whole blow up with Jim Acosta. But administration officials, including White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer and senior counselor Kellyanne Conway, have not appeared on the network's programming in recent weeks. So I'm sorry, Kellyanne fans, you're going to have to find her somewhere else. You're going to have to tune into Fox News, where it's a much more comfortable atmosphere where you're not going to get challenged. Now, that would, of course, explain uh, the recent spate of different hosts on CNN actually getting a backbone. Like, for example, uh, Jake Tapper. Tapper has been taking a battle axe to Trump's administration. I mean, you know, when especially when Bannon said uh, the press needs to shut up. He had one word answer for that. No. Pretty simple, but a pretty strong statement from the media. Now, of course, they're being so strong. They're allowed to be so strong now because, well, they were cut off access. No access means, hey, we don't got to play nice anymore. So now we're going to start playing hardball. And I actually kind of like it. In fact, uh, on Twitter, Tapper said the White House had declined all of his invitations to appear on the show. Quote, we invited the Trump White House to offer, so, offer us uh, a guest to provide clarity and an explanation of what the president just did. Now, this was, of course, over the whole immigration thing, um, banning uh, immigrants from uh, seven different uh, Muslim majority countries. Now, um, quote, especially given so much confusion, even with its own government, by those who are supposed to carry out this order. Tapper said on Sunday as he introduced a segment about the executive order banning the, the seven uh, countries. Right. Um, now, he said also the Trump White House declined our, inf our, our invitation. Now, why did they decline? Because Donald Trump is a petulant child. And see, that's evidenced in a New York Magazine report last week. Uh, the reporter writes, Trump's feud with CNN has roots in its relationship with its president, Jeff Zucker. Now, Jeff Zucker is a former NBC president who brought Trump's The Apprentice television show to the network. Now, so previously, they were actually friends, 
They were very friendly. Uh, but now, Trump has reportedly told White House staffers that he feels, quote, personally betrayed by Zucker and that Zucker should be programming CNN more favorably towards him because of their long relationship. Now, immediately, this shows the mindset of Donald Trump and this simplistic view of the world that he has. Well, he's my friend. I, I thought we were friends. I thought you we were supposed to cover me favorably. You're not covering me favorably. You're being mean to me. So I'm going to I'm going to cut off access. You're cut off. You're cut off. You're fired. That's the mindset of Trump. He literally doesn't understand the role of journalism. And I, that's not to say CNN has been a bastion of journalism. I'm just saying this guy doesn't quite understand. And again, these are two different organizations. The Trump administration and uh, CNN are two people that I, I have criticized greatly. But anyway, look, journalists, again, they're not supposed to cover you favorably just because you're friends or you're friends with the boss. That's not how this works. Journalists are there supposed to, uh, and they're, they're supposed to be there to report on facts. And since the election was over, they actually, I got to give them credit for doing a, a little bit better of a job of holding Donald Trump accountable. But now we see why. And of course, for that, he takes his surrogates and he says, and, and this is this is the snowflake mentality here. He puts them in a literal safe space. Here you have the non-PC, non-snowflake, non-safe space president creating his own media safe zones. Oh, well, we're not going to go on CNN anymore because they were mean. They hurt my feelings. And so my surrogates, you're not allowed. <laughs> oh, because he got triggered by CNN doing real reporting and reporting on the facts of what he's actually doing. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Now, what's even better, there is a big, really big upside for this. And that's Zucker's response. Because it goes to the heart of something that me here on the show, uh, TYT, Kyle Kalinske, David Pakman, et cetera, et cetera, Tim Black, whatever. They've all been saying this. Quote, in an interview with the New York Magazine, Zucker said, quote, I think the era of access journalism, as we've known it, is over. Please let it be true. I mean, look, that is the one thing that us in new media have been railing against. Access journalism. Now, what that essentially means is, hey, we're going to give you softballs. We're not going to ask you hard questions. We're really not going to drill you. Uh, if you decide, if you agree to come on our show, because these people, these politicians, they go, well, you got to give me softballs. I don't like answering tough questions. I don't like you going after me for certain policy positions because that makes me look bad. Uh, so if you want me on your show, you can't ask me certain questions. Or if you do, I'm not going to come back on your show. That's access journalism. That's and it, and it drives me crazy that we still have that. Or that we've had that. That's why, of course, uh, you had a lot of Republicans, powerful Republicans, that were not challenged. Where they would go after progressives mainly. People like Bernie Sanders, people like Alan Grayson. People that would actually go on and talk about progressive ideas. They would get uh, just picked apart by the media. I mean, you had uh, CNN. Uh, uh, what was it? Anderson Cooper during the primary basically red baiting Bernie Sanders. Because he had no institutional power, they didn't really care if they had access to him all that much. Well, now, of course, that is much different now today, because now everybody wants to get access to Bernie Sanders, which is kind of funny how that turned out. But anyway, again, you've got to challenge all politicians and don't care if they give you access or not, whether or not you challenge them, okay? And so it's actually good to see the possible end of access journalism. So yes, here I'm hoping that CNN looks at this and they say, you know what? Good. We don't need your sticking Kellyanne Conway. We don't need your stupid Corey Lewandowski. You know what? We're just going to cover you. We're going to cover what you're saying. And we're going to give you the actual truth and not have to bring your stupid ass on to talk about alternative facts. This is great. And I hope that, look, I hope that 
after this, if they actually do stay true to saying, okay, we're done with access journalism. Now we're going to do some real reporting. And I hope they continue to be strong, not just on Donald Trump, but for example, on uh, a, a, an establishment Democrat. Like for example, Hillary Clinton, you get her on if she ever tried to do an interview. And I'm just using her as an example, but any sort of establishment Democrat, be it Cory Booker or whatever, that they get into power and they come on these shows and I hope they get challenged because that is the role of the media to hold our politicians accountable. Look, I don't know. Maybe I've way too many hopes for this. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I hope that this is the death. This is the end of access journalism. And ironically, it started with Donald Trump. So maybe, maybe there's actually some good that's going to come out of the Trump administration. Again, high hopes, but we'll have to see. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation.